the amphibians uh, one of the main important class of this uh, in invertebrate animals the uh, general characters of this amphibian is it is the most important for the evolution of amphibia and uh, they have about uh, 2500 species categorized under six different orders belonging to subclass stegocephalia having three orders by as labyrinth labyrinthondia phyllospondyli and lepospondyli the subclass lysamphibia includes living amphibians and has three orders as gymnophonia or Apoda, Uradilla, or Caudet, and Salanda, or Anura. They are the lowest and primitive tetrapods, not fully adapted to terrestrial life. <coughs> the terrestrial aquatic and terrestrial mode of life is they live on land as well as in water. Uh, the main characters of these amphibians they are the first vertebrates to lie outside the water. And they are aquatic, semi-aquatic, and the carnivorous animals. And uh, they possess two pairs of limbs, such as similar forelimbs and longer hand limbs. They are the cold-blooded animals, devoid of scales, but possess moist skin containing mucus gland and poisonous gland. Body is differentiated in, as head and trunk. The eyes are with movable eyelids. And their digestive system is the complete. Uh, the mouth is large with muscular protrusible tongue and the hemodont type of the teeth in jaws. The respiration occurs by cutaneous buccal and pulmonary mode. The cranial nerves are 10 in numbers. Then the sexes are separated and they are oviparous and have external fertilizations. See, this is the evolution of this amphibians is the ichthyostegid amphibians and uh, another one is the uh, ribidician fish. So, this amphibians comes from the Greek meaning that is the both life. Amphibians can, li can lie on water and on land. The scientists infer that amphibians involved from low finned fishes called the crossopterygians. The biologists include that amphibians appear during the late Devonian period about 345 million years ago and the crossopterygian had no gills but they had internal nostrils and a primitive lung that may have enabled them then to, to respire for periods of time on land. The main characters of this uh, is amphibians are cold blooded and uh, which mean their blood temperature rises and falls with that of the surrounding environment. and they use gills, lung, skin and mouth cavity in the respirations. They have moist smooth thin skin with no scales, feet are web and the toes lack and the claws. And the amphibians have many prominent characteristics and that are adaptation to a life span both in land and in water. They change from an aquatic larval stage to a terrestrial adult form. And this transformation is called the metamorphosis. So you can see these eggs, the tadpole larvae, the metamorph and the adult stage of the frogs you can have observed. Mm, then this frog amphibians it is a enter a state of dormancy or torpor when the conditions are unfavorable they often bury themselves in mud or leaves emerging when the conditions are the uh, better 
So the example of this ambivalence is ichthyophys, that is CCL in animals. Uh, we can have observed it look like say um, structure of earthworm. They have a eye, a, a head, mouth, trunk, and tail. In the parental care in ichthyophys, female is eggs, trunk, eyes, and nostrils. The larvae have two chambered hearts, adults have three chambered hearts and will develop the circulations. The leg, egg lack multicellular membrane or cells, they are usually laid in water or in a moist environment and fertilize the externally. The classification of amphibians is, you can see, uh, the vertebral column, jaws, for eggs, locomotion, and uh, amniotic eggs here. So there is a lancelet, lamprey, the grouper, salamander, turtles, and the wolf is a classification of their amphibians. Uh, the biologists have identified about 2375 living species of amphibians and have classified them into four orders that is anura frogs and toads eurodilla salamanders trachistoma modules apoda sicilians the frogs and toads make up the order anura without a tail and uh, this the voice is mostly high in this frog The salamanders and other amphibians with legs and tails make of the order Eurodella, that is visible tail of the salamanders. You can see it is a uh, look like a good color of the salamander. Then Ambistoma, Opacum, Anulatum, Maculatum, Talpiodium, Macrodactylum is a salamander. Some aquatic amphibians, that is mud eels and sirens, belongs to the order Trachistoma, that is rough mouth. The siren, you can see. The apoda includes the Sicilians, a tropical burrowing worm like amphibians, that is often the uh, legless apoda which are come under the Sicilians. Then this characteristics of the um, anuran is, this is a temporal patch color varieties. And the frogs and toads comprise the order anura. There are about 3500 known species of frogs and 300 kinds of toads. They are found in every continent except the Antarctica. So this type of spend their entire uh, this life in our you know, near the water, but other life mainly on land and come to the water only to mate. When they are it's a fertilization as the they are as the water made as the fertilization sir. That the water is outside, the land is outside, and the land is outside the fertilization is done. <coughs> mm. Some frogs and toads are climbers that dwell in trees or burrows that lie with the underground. Then the toads and frogs have many similarities in the ways and they look some basic differences between them. Toads have dry warty skin. Eurydilan characters are the sudha colorful salamanders are called. पहला दिस्ते ऐसे बड़े से एम्फीबियंस में दिया है अन्य कलरफुल स्पीशीज आए हैं अन्य ये चम्मू ले यह एनिमल लखूब मार्च एम्फीबियंस में एम्फीबियंस में दिया अपन जंगले प्रकारे अब बेस्ट कुछ तो जंगले प्रकारे सर सुंदर नेला करता है